my name is uh, Ramsey Musalam, and I'm a high school chemistry teacher in downtown San Francisco at Sacred Heart Cathedral Prep High School. And what I'd like to talk about um, right now is student engagement and specifically sparking student curiosity. Um, and the reason this topic is really important to me is I spent about five or six years really playing around with various forms of educational technology, whether it be uh, video screencasting or um, you know, different forms of student response systems and found that although I was using really engaging tools, my students' curiosity and their motivation around the content um, wasn't improving. Right? Um, to the point where I actually went and got higher education graduate degrees on leveraging these tools and I still wasn't seeing um, greater investment, motivation, performance from my students. So something must have been wrong and something was missing. Um, and when I really started to think about it and reflect on it, um, I wasn't focusing on the motivation piece. I, I was treating all the students as if they were equally motivated and ready for those tools, which really isn't the case at the high school level. Um, so in terms of motivation, I think the, the easiest place to do is to start talking about something that we all already are motivated to do. Um, we've all uh, read a great book. Um, we've seen great movies or great TV shows. These are things that we are invested in without being graded on. Um, there isn't anybody requiring us by law to do them, but we're invested in them. And I think often as teachers, we fail to look at these mediums as insight into actual instructional design. You know, what is somebody like J.J. Abrams doing when he made Lost um, that I could be doing in the classroom? I mean, these aren't two separate entities. If I am a movie producer, I am making, or an author, I am creating a medium for people to engage with, right? There, I don't see any difference between that and somebody who's designing a lesson in a classroom albeit any subject. So if you look at um, kind of a, a, a story structure, a lot of times it's following you know, the, the, the typical Joseph Campbell's hero's journey, where you have a call to adventure at the beginning. Um, and the call to adventure is then followed by some sort of struggle and introduction of the mentor, leading eventually to transformation. Okay? Um, so really think about the role as the teacher as the mentor in the hero's journey. And what's really interesting, if you look at a lot of movies, um, you know, you can take a movie like Good Will Hunting, for example, right? A really great movie. The counselor in that movie, Robin Williams, doesn't show up until about 42 minutes into the movie, and he won Best Supporting Actor for that movie. So, you know, these mentors, these teachers, are delayed. And I think that that lends a lot of insight into the classroom. That we as teachers, um, we can lecture. Lecture is really powerful, but we should delay that direct instruction and wait, giving the students time to struggle. And um, that really gave me a lot of insight into the classroom. And I realized it wasn't about where the lecture happened. In a video in the classroom, it was about when it happened. It was about turning lecture into something that responded to my students' needs rather than directed their activities. And once I, once I realized that it was a sequencing issue, I felt like my students continued to be much more engaged. They know that they're gonna get the content, but they know there's gonna be this moment of struggle beforehand. Um, and I find that that has been a really, really powerful thing for me in the classroom. And it's also changed my role from someone who provided the information to somebody who provides the information gap. Um, and that is really what an educator who wants to spark student curiosity is trying to do. To try and create this situation where you have some information, but you don't have all of the information. Right? And there's this sweet spot where you're motivated and you realize that the information isn't too far away. Um, and this is what a lot of great movies do. I mean, if you think about um, you know, Godzilla, right? You, you never really see, in J.J. Abrams' uh, remake of it, you never really see all of Godzilla. Or like he talks about in his TED Talk, the shark in Jaws. You never see the shark, and that's much more terrifying. That we love things in movies because we don't understand what the phenomena fully is. It's never really fully revealed to us. So as educators, how can we relate this to the classroom? Well, one thing that I always think about is what is the information that I need to teach my students? 
and how can I delay delivering that as long as possible and create events before that that are going to drive students to that information. Um, and I think technology can be a strategic partner in that process. Um, but again, the technology is used um, in the context of this overarching hero's journey. Like, there's nothing wrong, I think, with thinking of something like the Pythagorean theorem as the journey and the student as the hero. And what's even more interesting, if you look at any inquiry learning cycle, whether it be the uh, explore, explain, apply learning cycle from Carl Pluse in the 70s or the 5E learning cycle, engage, explore, explain, elaborate, evaluate, all of these learning cycles basically model the hero's journey. There's a call to adventure, the explore, the engage piece. There's a mentor, the explain piece. And then there's transformation, so the evaluation piece where we're trying to see if our students can extend that, that outwards. So I don't think it's, it's, it's that coincidental that these two things that are designed um, to engage students um, really are parallel that the hero's journey has been something that, that has worked for ages um, in storytelling um, and it really parallels what we're trying to do in student engagement. So things like uh, flip classroom or screencasting, these things are techniques. They are not pedagogies. And I think teasing out those two uh, has been a really nice journey for me. Mm -hmm.